All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about chest bar pull ups and bar muscle ups, how to get ready for them and how to execute them correctly. All right, so, we're going to start, about, uh, start with the uh, chest to bar. Um, you want a, a very, very big kip, okay? So, this is going to be our traditional C kip. You can do these butterfly as well. We're going to save that for next time. Um, but uh, you want that traditional gymnastics kip, but you just want to get a little bit higher with your head, okay? So if, you're, if you cannot get your head over the bar, it's gonna be very difficult to do a chest to bar, okay? With your kip, that is. So when you do your kip, you wanna get as high as possible, okay? I can get, the, uh, I can get my eyes, maybe my nose, uh, about bar height, and that's going to be okay for a chest to bar. Uh, moving forward, if we do a bar muscle, we're going to want to get even higher than that. Okay, so we don't have to pull so much. Uh, but with the chest to bar, we get up as high as we can, and then we pull directly in to the bar. Now, when we pull directly into the bar, we're going to need a lot of tension in our back and in our lats. If we don't, then we're not going to have any strength once we get back here. So let's say we're in the very back like this. We've got to go so far from here, from our chest, to where the bar is, you're going to end up doing something like this, okay? So what we want is to have those shoulder blades pulled back down, have the lats turned on, and now you have a lot shorter pull to get that bar to your chest, okay? So we're shortening the range of motion by putting our back in a better, healthier position overall, okay? So here's how that's going to look. As always, when you're doing pull-ups, you want to start with a good active shoulder, and making sure the feet start in a, in, in a hollow position and your body's uh, nice and tight in, in a good gymnastics spot. So we're here, big kip, up and down, okay? So we don't want to pull from this position to the bar. We want the elbows down, pull from there, okay? Now, as far as your grip on this, on chest to bar, um, <coughs> If you have a hard time, so I have very long arms, I have a hard time getting that bar all the way in. Two things, mobility in the chest to get here. So being able to stretch out through here, get that shoulder opened up from the chest uh, is gonna be big. Lacrosse ball through the chest is gonna be very big. The other thing is gonna be grip on the bar. Um, usually when we're doing pull-ups, we want a, a hand around the bar like so uh, with the thumb. Um, Again, if you're having issues on like chest or bar, bar muscle ups, I'd say try out putting that thumb over the top. Your grip's not gonna last as long, but you might not have uh, uh, the type of issues or you might not struggle with the, the, uh, the range of motion there pulling that bar all the way in. So what I mean by that is you're, you're shortening your, uh, your, your range again when you have that thumb over the top rather than thumb around. That actually makes your arm longer um, so it's going to be very similar for the bar muscle up. Uh, you want to get very, very high, even higher than a chest bar. You want to like times three it and almost get that bar to your waist, to your hips. Okay. If you can do that, bar muscle up should be pretty good. Okay. So how do we do that? How do we get up there? How do we get stronger? Um, the doing chest bars correctly is going to be number one. Um, number two is we can do a lot of, uh, strict pull up practice. Uh, we can add bands to our strict pull-ups so we can feel some strength uh, in the lats back there so we can get more reps in. Uh, but we can also, let me grab a band. We can also do movements like this. You can add a PVC to this as well. Um, but just pulling down and uh, trying to strengthen up the back position and get used to uh, engaging your lats when you do pull-ups and gymnastics movements. Okay, um, I'd say adding a uh, adding a PVC to this is, is going to be great. Uh, you can widen out, and again, so we're pulling the shoulders back, and then we're going down, trying to really strengthen up. The back and the lats. That's going to help you out with this to get higher and higher and higher because what we want to end up doing is pushing down against the bar. Okay, we push down against the bar harder, we get higher and higher and higher. 
harder we push, easier something like chest bar, bar muscle ups are. Okay, so uh, as far as like a bar muscle up, what that should look like, you want to enter the bar the same way. Okay, you want to be here, hollow body position. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over the top with my thumbs for the first one. Uh, and then you want that really, really big kip. So we'll go up, hips. <laughs> Edit that part. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over the top with the thumb, um, and then get a really, really big kip. And this first time, we're just gonna practice and try and get the hips up as high as we can, okay? Because it would be dumb to just try and go straight to a bar muscle without warming up at all, okay? So we're gonna be here, good tight shoulders, get the hip up really high, and practice that move right there, okay? Now, when we actually go for the bar muscle up, we want to make sure that um, we have that good range of motion in the shoulder again. So something like the bully stretch, uh, and again, if we're super uh, tied down and our shoulders are being pulled forward here, that's going to be an issue. So we want to make sure that we're good on mobility there. Go ahead and take the old shirt off here. So when we go up there, um, we're going to have to move the hands and the grip over the bar. Okay? It's, we don't want to get stuck underneath like this, so the hands are actually going to come up and you're going to transition from here over the top of the bar there. Okay, So we want to make sure all that's loose and, uh, and the, the shoulder's good to go. Good to finish in this position over the bar. Okay? So let's try this again. So we go here. So we get a good big kip, hit it there at the top, and then dip out of it as well, okay? Um, you're gonna end up in that scarecrow position and then dip out, that's fine. If you can go straight through and go almost like a straight arm uh, landing at the top, that's fine, um, but, uh, but I'd like you to practice getting here first that way we can get that good dip out uh, at the top. And uh, you know, before we do that, we need to make sure the shoulders are good to go as far as mobility. Um, there are a few other really, really in-depth videos that we can go into on this. Um, but for now, those are kind of the basics of the chest bar uh, and bar muscle up. Um, check back with those other things if you want to get a little bit, uh, little bit more uh, spicy, a little bit more in-depth about it. And we'll see you next time.